Hey guys, Lex here. Back for some more Digimon Survive. I actually did not record my mic this episode. <laughs> so I'm gonna be redoing all the dialogue for the next 50 minutes. I'll just read what I can, and I don't know if I missed anything important, but yeah. I'm just recording VLC. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking of during this part, but uh... There's Kaido, should I talk to him? What's this? Feels like a voice or someone's consciousness in my head. All in the seasoning, chapter 3. Yeah. Chapter 3. I learned that humans have things that they can and can't eat. Seeing as how this child couldn't eat her fill back in her world, I wanted to give her the chance to do so if I can. And so, I set off with the girl to look for food even humans could eat. Oh, I found something good. Here, try this. Huh? What's this, your holiness? It's green and round. A vegetable, maybe? Never seen this before. Here. First you, oomph. Split it like this, then eat it. Ooh, this one's nice and ripe. Here, try a bite. Blah, so nasty. Really? It's no good? Yuck, so sour. My tongue's on fire. So gross. Think? Can't get enough of this flavor. Okay, on to the next one. How about this? Hmm, this thin orange thing? I think I've seen it before. You can make some rare medicine out of it. Is that right? We just up and eat it? Here, like this. Hmm, this chewiness. The faint bitterness. So good. Huh? Okay, down the hatch. Um, your holiness? It's so bitter. Oh dear, I guess it doesn't suit you. Just spit it out. Pleh, ugh, my mouth's all itchy. Hey, there's no poison in this, is there? Ah, I see. Some of the stuff we eat might be poisonous to you humans. I'm just glad none of what she ate had a bad effect on her. We're not careful. We might put her life in danger. Sorry, your holiness. It's tried so hard to get food for me and I... Don't sweat it. If I learn what you can and can't eat, that way I won't feed you something bad by accident. Wow, you gods sure are a generous bunch. Oh hey, the leafy parts aren't bitter. Hmm, <coughs> pretty sweet actually. You don't eat that part. Still, if this child likes it, I'll feed her all the leaves she wants. Hmm, hey, your holiness, what's that over there? The girl sets eyes on the most dangerous thing we know. Hold on, can't you see the fog over there? It's really dangerous. The fog? What's so dangerous about it? Well, if you touch it, it'll mess with your head. You say you get swallowed up by the fog, never to return. I'd never actually seen this fate befall anyone. Still, if it's possible, can't put this child in harm's way. You say so. I'll be careful, your holiness. All right. What's the white stone over there? Oh, that's just brackish rocks. They don't fill your belly or provide any nutrition. Totally useless. I think I've seen this before. Just a second. Ah, hey. Don't go off on your own. I knew it. This is salt. Salt? We don't make it in my village. But it adds flavor to anything. I'd never seen such an excited look on her face before. Somehow, just looking at it got me excited as well. Fun fact, I'm just finishing the harmony route where I get the last part of this uh, story. Bicycle, the frame is rusted and all the air is out of the tires. Maybe I could ride it. I could try to fix the tires if I found an air pump. Ah shoot, it's locked, and the lock is rusted shut. I won't be able to move this. You don't really see cars like this anymore. It's a bit of an older model. Is it possible this is the enemy base? You could see the road from high places. Plenty of rooms. Looks easy enough to live there. Still, as a base, it's full of weak points. It may be tall, but the view ain't great. Plus, the rooms are cramped. Try and imagine some big brutes shacking up in a tiny little room like this. Hmm, that's a bit out there. It's fine if they're just living there, but it ain't convenient for planning anything. So that means this isn't the enemy base? Probably not. More likely it's a place to look for traces than enemy base, I figured. I bet Trackbound's right. Traces, huh? We should take a look around then. Stay alert, yo. Can't let our guards down here. If that's what my fated partner wants, then I guess I gotta. You're exaggerating. Enough with all that fate crap. I've thought of this for a while, Kaido. Aren't you a bit harsh with your words? Takuma. 
Looks like you're taking advantage of Drakmon's temper, or lack thereof. Can't say it sits well with me when I see it. Got her own way of doing things, pal. You may be right, but it just makes Drakmon sad. Should I keep going here? I could tell Tito to ease up when he talks to Drakmon. Or maybe I should back off, leave this to the two of them. How can I make Kaido be nicer to Drakmon? I don't remember why my reasoning I picked whatever I picked next is, but I'll pick it. <laughs> Ask Drakmon himself. Drakmon, if it hurts, then you should say something. It's between you two, so it'd go better if it came from you. M my feelings. You've opened my eyes, man. I'm gonna talk with Kaido, mano a mano. Sounds like a plan. Let's get out of here, Agumon. Yeah. I don't think he likes it. So, what do you want to talk about? Don't you think you're being too soft on me? Excuse me. Who's being soft? You did the same thing with Minner, did. Worse, actually, since you ain't shown no remorse. You trying to pick a fight? You bet I am, and you're making it easy as pie. You think I'm sticking to you because of fate or whatever? You couldn't be more wrong. You're saying you're gonna sell us down the river? Don't think you'll get away clean. It might just turn out that way. I ain't in no mood to take this guff another second. <laughs> Fine by me. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Why don't ya? Shit, Dragmon, behind you. You don't gotta tell me. Oh... It's this mission. Fine, truce. For now, follow me. That's my line. Get your ass in gear. Oh, it's gonna be these battles. Aw, oh, man. I wish I didn't. Oh, well. I might just fast forward through these battles, because there's gonna be a lot of them. <laughs> and I'm not gonna be saying anything, because I don't remember what I said. So I'm fast forwarding. Done. All taken care of. There weren't that many to begin with. I think they were a couple of scouts. Maybe they showed up to stop us from fighting. The stars don't just align like that, man. Anyway, seems you're back to your old self. I ain't heard that foul mouth on you in ages. Oh me? Oh my. But 
I wonder who might have been raining on my parade this whole time. Hmm. <laughs> Keep it up, you better not betray me. When it comes to a fight, ain't no one a better match for me than your ugly ass. So if you say you ain't gonna be a traitor, I guess I could trust you, maybe. But if you do turn on us, you better expect a knuckle sandwich. Kaido, you little... <laughs> we'll see if I f even feel it. That soft little fist of yours, you pushover. Oh, I could give you a sample now if you keep talk up. Oh, excuse me. Back in that fight, I felt it, man. I really do want to protect you, Kaido. I get it. All the trash you talk is you trying to cope with the feelings that freak you out. Sorry I can't always pick up what you're putting down. I'll do better next time. You hot-headed little push over you. <sighs> Shut up and give me some skin. <laughs> uh. I haven't read this in a while. And I've been skipping it in my uh, replay. There's Saki. Should I say something to her? Huh, what's this? Choice ribs. Drawings. The grounds here is covered in drawings. Looks like kids doodles. You jump in and out of the circles to play. Oh, I want to give it a try. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, this car only has three wheels. Yeah, is that unusual? Yes. Never seen one, at least. Maybe models like this were more common in the past. sunlight in these apartments is there noticed huh is it because you're like a plant for a month well i can say that i feel way better when i can bathe my body in sunlight but it's not like i'm completely made of vegetation hmm that's so much we don't know about you kimonogami there must be things they like or dislike based on the ecosystem Seems like they don't know about bad evolutions until the professor told them. Clearly have a lot to learn about the Tricycle. Tricycle for kids. I bet you could ride it, Agumon. <laughs> You're right. How do you ride one of these? I'll show you if you have a little time later. We could practice together. Hey, Saki. Did you find anything? Yeep! Whoa, don't scare me like that. Did I take you by surprise? Like, yeah, you did. How do you think I'd react if someone stuck up on me like that? S sorry, sorry. I didn't think you'd get so scared. Of course I would! Something could kill me in the blink of an eye here. That ain't gonna happen, Saki. I'm here to protect you. I mean, if you say that. Hey, don't tell me you're still scared of me, are you? Yeah, sorry. I'm st honestly still scared. You have enough strength in that little body to kill a man. Saki! Saki's anxiety and her cold treatment of Flormon both stem from her fear. Still, if she can overcome that fear, then maybe they can open up to each other again. Toward that end, I should appease Saki, or maybe persuade, what can I say? Saki always acts on feelings. Maybe I should appeal to that instead of using logic. Uh, I feel bad for Flormon. That's what I would pick. Hey, good job, past me. I feel bad for Florimon. Feel bad? She doesn't want to scare you, Saki, but she has no control over the fact that she does. I know you're anxious, but acting cold is just going to hurt her. Yeah, I mean, I know that much, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. Florimon? Hmm. Florimon, I'm really sorry for being so scared of you before. When I saw that, I wasn't sure whether I could still trust you or not. I mean, Lopman used to be so cute. How did that happen? I'm not sure, but I could tell the voice in his heart had gotten really quiet. It's hard to put into words. It's something that we just understand naturally. But unless we and our partners both trust each other, our hearts, they die. Our hearts die? So sorry, Florimon. I can't believe I almost killed you. Zaki, why are you so shaken up? <laughs> of course I am. I mean, you'll die, won't you? Just because I don't want to die, I have to kill you, Florimon? That's just wrong. You see, Saki's not just scared of herself dying. She doesn't want any of her friends to die either. I think she has let some of the tension out of her shoulders. You're right. Come on, let's go, Agumon. 
I don't think those two need us to make up now. Yeah, I agree. I really don't get it, but I hate the idea of saying goodbye so suddenly. I also don't want to label someone bad when I don't know anything about them. More than anything, I can't stand the idea of others disappearing because of me. Jeez, tell me something you can't stand! <laughs> Still, all those things seem like real possibilities. I don't know what to do. Don't worry, none of those things will come to pass. There's always a chance I'll hurt you, Saki, but I'll do everything I can to prevent that. Or am on. Oh, I guess Takuma and Agumon left. <laughs> we ran off so fast. Uh-oh. Thanks, Florimon. We got enemies. Right behind me, Saki. I'm not gonna say anything. All gone? Yeah, we should be safe now. All thanks to you telling me the enemy's approaching. But I didn't do anything, I just noticed them coming, so I told you. Thank goodness. Your power really does scare me, Florimon. If you ever turn on me, I'd be dead. Still, I don't think you would do that to me, probably. After all, you just protected me all on your own. I can't change the fact that I have a scary power. All I could do is promise that I'll never turn this power on you, Saki. I can only ask you to trust me, so if you do, I'm super happy about it. Thanks, Aki. I don't know what I'm doing. There's Aoi, should I say something to her? Hmm, what's this? Ribs. Hmm, what's this? Choice ribs. Once I start imagining what kind of humans lived here, I can't bring myself to stop. Traces of humans living here. I get it. It feels a bit suffocating in here. Just like the shopping district, it's a tad more out of date than things in our world. Agumon, oh, what's up? You look kinda down. We turn all weird when human children are upset, right? The professor said that me getting upset wouldn't affect anything, right? Yeah, I think that's true. Either way, if you're upset, I wanna talk about it, man. Hmm, okay. It's not like anything bad happened, you know. It's just, I started thinking, what if I hurt you, Takuma? It just popped into my head, that's all. And that made you start worrying? Yeah, I know you don't treat me like a bad guy or anything. I know you trust me. There's no way you wouldn't. Agumon looks so miserable, and he's trying so hard to explain himself. Was he trying to hide how upset he was? Maybe he thought talking about it was bad, like it meant he didn't trust me. If that's the case, then this won't be an easy issue to solve. I should face Agumon straight up to take away his anxiety. Don't hide your- oh, I'm worried too. Oh, don't hide your- uh, you'll never turn back. I'm worried too. <laughs> the truth is, I'm worried too. You too? Do you think I might turn bad? 
no way, I trust you completely, Agumon. It's just that there's a chance that what the professor said wasn't totally correct. You see, that makes sense. You're not the only one who's worried, Agumon. I'm right there with you. I wish you'd come out and tell me if you're ever upset. And I can let you know you're not alone, just like this. Wouldn't that make you feel better? Yeah, when I think we're in the same boat, I feel loads better. Get it, Agumon. Don't talk to me if you're ever worried, okay? Yeah, that means I got nothing to worry about. Huh? Agumon? Watch out, Takumo! What? Oh. Yow, enemies in a place like this. All my worries disappear, Takumo. So now I'm gonna beat up all these bad guys trying to hurt you. Skip, skip, skip to the battle. Takuma, I finished them off good. Yeah, it worked out pretty well, given it was just the two of us. Heh <laughs> that's all thanks to you, Takuma. Akamon sure looks happy. Feels like consoling a little kid after they had a scary dream. Kind of embarrassing. Akamon's a uh, reflection of my heart, and his sudden anxiety might have been my own. Humans tend to make each other anxious. I'll be careful not to overthink myself. Zawa, should I say something to her? This is one of those cathode ray tube TVs. The screen is so small, it's so bulky. CRT, face, a photo frame. I never thought you could place those things on top of a television. What? <laughs> Rotary phone. I've seen one on TV, but this is the first one I've seen in real life. This fun, Takuma. It's spin and spin in this part, and it goes back where it started. Would have been nice if the telephone actually connected to some place. But do you even know anyone's phone numbers? too much, Howie. I don't want to see you like that. Yes, I know. Still, I can't help but think. What am I giving back to you, Labramon? You do practically everything for me in fights, during conversations. So you're still worried about that stuff? Sorry, I try not to think about it, but that just makes me think even harder. Are you sure you're not just putting up with me? You suffer through so much for my sake. You're overthinking this, Howie. She's really all caught up on this. I get the feeling all of this mental strain won't be good for her. What can I do to get Aoi to relax? Maybe Labramon can lend me a hand. You're overthinking. You're so serious. What does Labramon want? Aoi, what do you think Labramon would like you to do? Huh? What'd she like me to do? Yeah, you said you thought she might be putting up with you. Labramon herself is saying you're overthinking things, right? Yeah, I'm not putting up with anything. I'm not lying for your sake either. Since the day we met, I haven't had a single thing from you, Allie. Happy you could depend on me from the bottom of my heart. Can't you see that? You know, Allie, Minor changed after he messed her up some courage. Did? Minor gave in to his anxiety, ended up saying some awful things, but he regrets it, and is trying to start over, to restore their bond through trust. Through trust? I should believe in Labramon a little more. I'll think about it. Sure, go for it. In the meantime, I'd better be going. 
We have to look for Falcomon after all. Bye bye, Owie. Later, Librolon. Yeah, see you two later. Peace. I think Takuma's right, Owie. I wish you'd trust what I say. I don't tell lies or mercy to represent myself for your sake. My wish is to fight by your side. I want you to get back to your world. Hypermon. Wait, this feeling. No. Are there enemies nearby, right after Takuma Nagumon left? Don't worry, I'll protect you all to myself, you'll see. I'm really doing my best here for your sake, Howie. I'll get you to see that for yourself. Thank goodness you won. See, just like I said, I protected you, and all by my lonesome. I don't tell lies, Owie, so go on, believe in what I say. Yeah, yes, that's really true, isn't it? You always speak so kindly to me, and you fit me so well. I wasn't sure if I could really trust in that. The truth is, the one I couldn't trust was myself. Owie, I'll change too. I want to treat myself the way you treat me. I hope you stick by my side, Lyrobolon. Yeah, of course! Uh, I think that's everyone. But I don't remember. <laughs> what am I- what am I thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm saying. Something here. I could feel it. Oh. I never checked this area. Maybe there's something hidden here. That shadow. Let's fight it. The job passed me. I could just skip this battle.
What am I doing? I don't know. Okay. That's me. Should I talk to her? What's this? South pack. Hey, Takuma. What's Kaido up to? He was over by the apartments. Want me to call him over to you? Oh, no. That's okay. Mew will get mad if I do that. It's just, I figured I should keep tabs on him. They are brother and sister after all. You mean from you? Yeah, he always grills her when she's around. I get wanting to scold her if she's worried. Just has the opposite effect if he's annoying about it. Shakman's getting better and better at handling Mew and Kaido's dynamic. Have you thought of any way to get Minoru and Falcomon back together? Besides so doubling down on efforts to persuade them, not a thing. Elkamon's been through a lot of pain. I can't imagine he'll just snap right back. I agree. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. Saying, I don't like that, or stop, or I'm sorry, or forgive me. It's hard to, to believe in that sort of thing. Hard to get people to believe in it. Mew, she's got a faraway look in her eyes. I wonder if she's thinking of something. Should I even ask? I get the feeling I'll make her cry if I respond poorly. Uh, what do I pick? What do I pick? I don't know. I'm undecided. This is my specialty. Believe me in others is totally my specialty. Yeah, I can see that about you, Takuma. Agma's proof enough. <laughs> Takuma's amazing. Don't you go counting Mew out. She's believing in me. Even though it's such a tough thing to do, I trust her back. I'll use everything I got to protect her. You mean it, Pisayakamon? Of course I do! I'll always tell you exactly what's on my mind, okay? Yeah, that's right. We're the best buddies to the end. Okay, Siakamon, let's take a look inside those bushes next. Don't go too far. There's no guarantee we're all alone out here. Got it already. Come on, Siakamon. You should go too, Agamon. Yeah, be safe, you two. Oh, come on, you. Don't go running off ahead. Yikes. Ah. Jeez, don't yelp like that all of a sudden. That's a bad guy. But bad guys, meanies, those tricks again. Place like this, stay back, Mew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Stand up to a pair like us. Man, kind of such a dummy, isn't he? How can he be such a meanie when he's got an awesome creator like you guys with him? He has time to care about me. He should give half of that caring to Dragmon. Seriously, he's helpful and decisive, but it's wasted on his personality. Haha, <laughs> you said it. Glad I got you, Siakamon. It's so great that we could talk like this. Oh, for sure, I feel the same way. Your gears are always turning, so you're fun to talk to. Let's keep talking about all kinds of things. Ghost stories, urban legends, you name it. Oh boy, don't you have any cuter things to talk about? <laughs> and judging by the thing, uh, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. And then next time, I'll talk to Minoru. I don't know if I actually said that, but... I don't think there's enough episode left in this to do that. Next time, I don't think I messed up the recording. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. See ya. Bye.